Peace, family. Real quick, y'all. I had shot that video using my, um, I had shot that video using my, um, camcorder, right? But the only thing about that, I gotta find out how I can upload it from the JVC ham hand camcorder to YouTube. Know what I'm saying it's a way where I can um because it say upload video to YouTube, but I ain't that savage. Savvy like that, y'all. When it come to that. That's why with this video here I'm using my phone and shit. But um yeah, we most definitely was in the building over there at the uh where they found the remains at. Know what I'm saying? We most definitely was in the building. But they found the remains. And like I said, it was um that homeless dude. He was there. That might have been his girl. That was there in the uh where that yellow blue tarp was at. Know what I'm saying? It was definitely, y'all. Like I said, y'all, I had used that camcorder. I had um ran the H what's that the HD MI cord to the camcorder from the TV. That's why I was looking like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, we gonna get it together one day. I just use that for backup. That camera, I use that camera for backup. Cause on this, uh, on my phone, I got that um, SD card. I got an SD card in my phone. I think it's a 264 or a 260 gigabyte. SD card that I got in my phone, so I can use my phone to make videos. I just wanted to use that um camcorder. You know what I mean? Shake the cobweb cobwebs out of it. I ain't used it in a while. There's some parking over here. Some good, good parking. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all, we black. Most definitely black. Y'all see the difference, though? When I record and using that, um... Trying to use that goddamn... JVC hand... Hand camcorder. Which is cool, I just gotta find out. You know what I'm saying? How to upload it to the Chromebook or the computer and then upload it on um, YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Which I can Google it. That's what I think I'm gonna do, y'all. I'm gonna do that today. I'm saying, because everything is uh, it's just a click away if you want to learn how to do something. Know what I'm saying, STEM Academy here. Know what I'm saying, everything is a click away, y'all. So I'm gonna look into that, because the quality of the uh, video was nice, but it's just when I use the HDMI cord and then use my phone to record it, that's how it turns out, y'all. But y'all see how the videos be with my phone. This is my phone here, y'all. Like I said, I got that 260 gigabyte SD card in my phone. So I can shoot videos for hours, y'all. Hours, if I choose to. But I needed my phone on deck. 
just in case something would have jumped out on me. See what I'm saying? I could have faked like it was uh, that hammer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or like I said, if something was looking crazy, could have hit that 911 button. <laughs> But I got another phone too, y'all. I got another phone, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? I just like the quality of the videos from my uh, phone, which I should have used when I got over there to, um, to do the video. I should have used my phone. But that's okay. Y'all got an uh, a understanding of where we was at on that video anyway. See what I'm saying? But it's all good. A video is a video. Like I said, I ain't monetized or nothing like that. I don't get paid from YouTube. Like I said, I just shoot the videos just to shoot them. See what I'm saying? That's all. But I ain't gonna do nothing crazy or say nothing crazy to get the channel shut down. I done been through like damn that eight channels, y'all. <laughs> and it's like, you going out, and I know a lot of people be hot. They be out recording and then they get fucking, they, they get them strikes on their channel. And the next thing you know, either one morning you wake up and your channel gone. <laughs> you be like, damn. Cause some of them videos, y'all, y'all can never get them shits back. Like I had some shit, y'all. I had some shit. I remember the one time I had the video, somebody had got shot down there on, uh, what was that, Lincoln? Six and Lincoln? Our six and Butler, and I was on the scene. Look at that shit, y'all. The person still was in the car and everything, y'all. Yeah. And they had it taped, they most definitely had it taped off. I seen the dude and I zoomed in on the person that was in the car and shit. But. Only, only person I can blame is myself. Cause you get caught up in the moment with these videos, y'all. You most definitely get caught up in the moment and you gotta follow the guidelines and shit, y'all. You most definitely gotta follow the guidelines and shit. All right, that shut your channel down ASAP. I remember one time I was listening to, uh, <laughs> I was using General Seti, one of his videos, but I ain't have it. Whereas though you can see, <laughs> I just let it play. It was a black screen. Shit, YouTube, I woke up the next morning. Shit, that channel was gone. I woke up to a black screen. <laughs> YouTube shut my shit down, y'all. So I'm used to it. On that channel, I think I had over like 9,000 subs, and the channel was growing every day. Look like somebody up here used to do some boxing, or he do boxing. Southpaw too. See that? See, I was taught. I was taught. I, I was taught different, y'all. Like when I was boxing from Winner's Gym down here in Chester, my grandpa was the trainer. And um, you know, everybody got their own styles, how they train their fighters and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I got up in there and um. When I started going to Joe Frazier's up Philly, 
up North Philly when Joe Frazier's was there. I think it's a furniture place now, next to the gas station on Broad Street, right? My trainer was Val. He said Val used to be a wrestler back in the day, but he was a trainer in Joe Frazier's. And um, he was training me, man. He taught me, and, and see, they started training me how to fight like Joe Frazier. Everything was coming forward like you're on the front seat. You're on the driver's seat of the car. You know what I'm saying? You ain't in the back seat. How you gonna be in the back seat and drive a car, which makes sense? How you gonna be in the back seat and drive? When you drive, you're in the front seat, right? So they switched my uh, stance up. I was still southpaw, but they had me more like, if y'all know boxing and you see how Joe Frazier fight, they had me like that. You know what I'm saying? But I had mixed that with what my grandpa taught me from Winner's Gym. Like I took a little bit of everybody training of what they taught. And I used it myself and shit. Put that shit in my motherfucking best interest. To go to Mega Bus again, y'all, going to DC. Like I said, this the highway here, y'all. 95 South and 95 North. Like I said, you can get to Delaware. You can most definitely get to Delaware going 95 South that way. In New Jersey, right there, Commodore Barry Bridge, exit that's east. East 322. That'll get you to Commodore Barry Bridge. That'll get you over New Jersey. You know what I mean? And then 322 West. That shit'll get you to um that'll get you to Westchester. You know what I'm saying? Westchester and Wilmington, Delaware. You know what I'm saying? And then if you go this way here, going North, it'll get you up Philly. Up Philly, PA, whatever the case may be. See them cribs back there, y'all? That's Upland and Toby Farms back up there. Toby Farms and Upland. But like I said, Chester sitting between New Jersey, sitting between New Jersey, uh, Delaware, and Philadelphia. You see what I'm saying? My man getting his workout on. Most definitely getting his workout on. Got the youngsters there. I don't know if that's part of the track team. I don't know. But yeah, y'all, Chester sitting in both, like in the middle. Like I said, it'd take us probably like a good, to get up from, from here to Philly, probably take you like a good 15, 20 minutes, 20 minutes at the most to get up to Philly. And if you want to go to Delaware, like I said, it'd take you another, what? <laughs> 15, 20 minutes to get to Delaware. And if you want to get over Jersey, like I said, Jersey, that's that, that's this way here. That's um Commodore Barry Bridge, East 322, right? But they go Commodore Barry Bridge right there. Y'all see it? Let me zoom in for y'all. See it? That's Commodore Barry Bridge right there. So if you take this exit here, it's going to swing you around and you're going to end up up there the Commodore Bay Bridge. And that's over Jersey. That's over Jersey. Now, I mean, we sit in the middle, y'all. Like I said, Chester is the only city in Delaware County. And we can use some funding, y'all, I mean, for the youth. We need more things for the youth in Chester, you know what I mean? Because it's a city, y'all. Every city has like a, uh, we got a boys and girls club down here. 
But you know what I mean? We need, we, we need, most definitely need more things down here for the kids, for the youth. Like far as they wanted to build a skating ring for the youth, a movie theater, a uh, shopping area, um, like a shopping plaza or something like that. Chester ain't what they think it is, y'all. A lot of people say, oh, Chester, Chester this, Chester that, a lot of crime, this and that and the third. If you from Chester, that's Commodore Barry Bridge up there, y'all. That's that's Jersey. Right over there. Right over that bridge, right over there is Jersey. You'll be in Jersey, and like I said, 15, 20 minutes. Philly, you'll get there 15, 20 minutes, and Delaware, you'll get there 15, 20 minutes. Delaware, you might get there quicker. Because you can go down 4th Street in Chester and hit Philadelphia Pike, and that's uh Delaware. You already know we was already over there at the Finland. You know what I'm saying? We was already over there. We captured that. And I'm just walking around. It's starting to rain too, y'all. They said it's supposed to rain later and the wind supposed to kick up. You know what I'm saying? So I usually come over here and wait for the king to get out of school. And I sit over here, you know what I mean? So I can observe pay attention to what's going on on the outside of the building you know what I mean but like I said if cops want to make a quota as far as people running them stop signs and sit right there on 10th and uh, Pusey sit right there them people be haul ass into that guy they don't even stop at the stop sign y'all you know what I'm saying Straight up. Them motherfuckers be haul assing, y'all. Do that stop sign and do they don't they know that's a school there? You know what I'm saying? The stop sign is right there, biggest day. But like I said, it's a couple spots where they got stop signs at in Chester. If I was police, I just post up. Shit, I'd probably make about 500 a day <laughs> in tickets by people just running the stop signs and shit. I say I would want to do traffic if I was police. Let me do traffic. You see what I'm saying? That's you know the, knowing about people inspection stickers, the fake inspection stickers, and people running them fucking stop signs and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all. They most definitely locked up that idiot, though. That killed that little girl, man. That baby, that, that baby, nine-year-old baby. And then that other idiot, he was drunk, a DUI. Fucking hit the fucking three-year-old. Y'all see that? Three years old, y'all. Fucking who? This 2022, y'all. Who still riding the fuck around drinking? Drunk as a skunk. Who still doing that shit, y'all? This 2022, man. Who riding around and shit? Drinking? Killing people and shit like that? Come on, man. Three years old, man. They said the car flipped on the baby. The mom, she was able to get out of there. You know what I mean? Squeeze out. But the fucking car, the hood, the hood landed on the baby, y'all. And they could, they was trying to free the baby. You know what I'm saying? They was trying to free the baby, y'all. But that fucking car was too fucking heavy, y'all. And when they finally freed the baby and then rushed the baby to the hospital, the baby had died, y'all. From another idiot, a selfish idiot that don't care about life. Know what I'm saying? Don't care about life, man. And I know right now, wherever he at, he locked up. 
he most definitely got locked up. You know what I'm saying? But at the same goddamn time, you done, you done, you done, you done, you done took a life. Now that you sober and you woke up in that motherfucking jail cell, and they said, damn. First thing he probably saying, what the fuck? How I end up here? And they telling you, man, you just killed the baby, man. You just killed the three-year-old baby, man. How he feel, y'all? How y'all think he feel? He probably wanna kill himself. Cause he got grandkids and he got kids. You see what I'm saying? His kids probably got kids that age. And it was broad daylight, y'all. Who the fuck is out drinking broad daylight? Fucking one, two o'clock in the afternoon getting drunk. Come on, man. Come on, man. And then the other motherfucker that got into the fucking shootout. Other other motherfucker that got into the shootout and end up hitting the baby, he going through it. His conscience is eating him up. You see what I'm saying? And then not only that, the um her family members. Her family members, other uh Other inmates that got kids that age, he gonna go through it, y'all. Y'all keep thinking it's sweet. And when y'all get behind them walls, guess what? Motherfuckers is tired, y'all. They wish they was on the streets. And you idiots is on the streets causing mayhem and destruction to your own peoples. So you most definitely gonna get dealt with when you get locked up. See how that work? See how the universe work? That shit come right back. That shit come right back on you, family. So y'all gotta think twice, man. Before you pull that trigger, just think, man. You hurting two families. You hurting your family, and you hurting the, per the person family that y'all murdered, man. It's, it's not worth it. And then you gonna spend the rest of your life in jail, and when you come home, you gotta worry about something happening to you from their family if you don't get dealt with in jail. Like, you know what I'm saying? So now, nah, man, it's time to wake up, y'all. It's most definitely time to wake the fuck up for those who not woke. Out here showing off doing fucking foolishness. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to end the video here, y'all. We just swung around the corner. Know what I'm saying? I just walked around the corner. Killed some time. Know what I'm saying? Nice little workout. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, y'all. Just I'm back. Starting to rain too, y'all. But yeah, yo, we got to most definitely, the youth, most definitely got to wake up, man. Stop showing off. They ain't even worth showing off no more, y'all. For real. I know everybody showed off in their, their young, dumb years in life, but they ain't even what it is, y'all. It's about living, y'all. That's what it's about. It's about being here for your family. You see what I'm saying? Even though I know most of our family members ain't shit, but your immediately ones anyway. Ones that's closer to you, your mom, your aunts, you know what I mean? Your dads and shit. But yeah, y'all. I got some little gadgets in my car too, y'all. <laughs> I got some gadgets in this joint. This the go-go gadget mobile, y'all. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I scare the hell, I be scaring the hell out of some of these uh teenagers out here that's about to do something destructive. 
to the community. I hit him with this one, y'all. Listen, y'all. I hit him with that. Y'all heard that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Especially when somebody on their phone talking and shit or texting. I pull right up behind him and hit him with this one, y'all. Cut that shit out. Get the fuck off. You got to see their face too, y'all. Like when the kids be getting out of school, right? They block. They One person blocked me here, yeah, right? And I hit the horn. I, I hit the horn. Motherfucker looked at me like I was crazy. Like, motherfucker, you going to wait. Guess what I did, y'all? I hit him with this one. You should have seen how fast that motherfucker got out the way. <laughs> that motherfucker down there broke his goddamn gas pedal trying to get the fuck out the way. But why do I have to do that to get the respect for you to move? That's crazy. It's crazy, y'all. I also got a microphone in here, too, y'all. Where I can talk to you from the inside of my car if you're on the outside. The mic right here. You know what I'm saying? The mic right here, y'all. Scared the hell out of motherfuckers, y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I might just save your life. You know what I mean? Because you was going to go out here and do something crazy and stupid and get yourself locked up. And um, I woke your ass up real quick to say, oh, shit. Police, where they at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yes, sir. I mean, just stay the fuck out my way. That's all I'm asking. Leave me alone. And if I can help and save someone, I'm, I'm, I'm willing, like I said, to put my life on the line for my peoples, man. For anybody that's under the pressure, you know what I mean? Anybody that's out there. Black, white, yellow, red. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not going to turn the other cheek when I see somebody being violated. It's not in my blood, y'all. Most definitely not in my blood. But like I said, y'all, you know what I mean? We on 10th and Pusey. That's where I'm sitting at, y'all, on 10th and Pusey. And everybody always running the stop sign. See the stop sign right there? There's one right there and there's one behind me, man. Look. <laughs> As I'm talking about it, y'all see what I'm saying? If I was police, I'd sit right here on 10th and Pusey in a cut. Just like if you go to one, like in Ridley, in one of them other townships, asked and the like that them cops be sitting in a cut, and your ass come to a complete stop when you're in the mother boroughs. But when you're in your own city, you run through stop signs, y'all block people in, cuss people out, but y'all don't do that shit in them, uh, your opinion, uh, neighborhoods, them white folk neighborhoods, Springfield, Aston, and all that shit, y'all motherfuckers come to a complete stop. Y'all make sure y'all do that. So why you can't do that in your own goddamn city? You just seen it, man. Fuckers running stop signs. People being come out this side. You coming down, you running stop signs, then you smash into somebody's car, and now you ready to fight. Or pull a gun out on somebody because you was in the wrong. You see what I'm saying? That's how I said nine times out of ten, these people that be running these stop signs up here, they ain't got no license, y'all. Because if you had license, a license is a privilege. Just like a, a license to carry is a privilege. It's a privilege to have a driver's license, y'all. That's why I said people that uh, disrespect the law and disrespect the stop signs and all that. They nine times out of 10, they ain't got license. Y'all seen this hat, this goes on every day, y'all. Every day, all day up here. Like I said, if I was police, I'd do the traffic thing. I'd be bringing like 500, then $1,000 a day. You know what I mean? When I'm about to punch out, back to the city. You see what I'm saying? Sitting at these motherfucking stop signs in the cut. Watching these idiots just run the stop sign. Oh, I ain't say yes, you did. It's the biggest day. They got them on all fucking three sides of the street or the corner. 
the stop sign it says stop it don't say breeze through it or cruise through it you, it says stop you, you see what i'm saying because you don't know what's coming from the other side when you read your driver's man you would tell you that you got to come to a complete stop not coast through the stop sign that's still a ticket you, you see what i'm saying that's still a ticket and a lot of people say, oh, there's more things going on in the city than you pulling us over is giving us tickets. No, it ain't. Because you can kill somebody. You see what I'm saying? Haul ass and do the stop sign. You can hit somebody's car. You can tear somebody's car up. So no, it's not. That is part of uh, this, what's going on in the community. Shit. Like I said, I'll be $1,000 a day when I get off. The motherfucking commissioner or whoever the boss is, it'd be like, yeah, he bringing that money in this motherfucker every day. That'd be a week. That's $5,000 a week on tickets I done gave out, right? <laughs> Facts. And I ain't cut no no slacks. I ain't cut no breaks or none of that shit. You can be Queen Elizabeth. You still gonna get a goddamn ticket. If you break the law, you, you get dealt with, you know what I mean? You most definitely get dealt with breaking the laws and shit. But with that being said, y'all, I'm going to end this video. Y'all stay up, all right? Stay blessed, man. Each one teach one. That's what it's about. Each one teach one. Stop being selfish. We ain't chumps. Ain't nobody no punk or no chump or nothing like that. It's just about a respect thing. You know what I mean? If you care about your community, you know what I'm saying? Treat, treat those how you want to be treated. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. And with that being said, until the next time, y'all, peace.